spell the word color? Ah, that's easy. C-O-L-O-U-R. Color. Huh? That's not right. Huh. Color. C-O-L-O-R. Color. C-O-L-O-U-R. C-O-L-O-R. You are. O-R. You are. Oh my goodness. Who's right? Hello, I'm Teacher John. Hi, I'm Teacher Quintus. And today we're going to talk to you about differences between American English and South African English. We spell words differently in South Africa. Sure, we do. Yeah, like For example, color. Ryan, how do you spell color? C-O-L-O-U-R. Ah, would you write it down? Okay, here we go. I don't believe it. O L O, and here we have U R. Oh, that seems very strange because color is not spelled that way. Hmm. C O L O R. Both ways are wrong. Right. So this way or that way, American or South African. I like the American way of spelling because it's much simpler it's easier. and easier to remember. <laughs> There's a word that starts with an H. Uh -huh. We pronounce the H. Right. We actually say. Herb. Herb? Yes. You don't say herb. You say herb. You don't pronounce the H. And because we pronounce the H, we would say a herb. In America, we would say an herb. We pronounce the H, so we say a herb. Right. Just different ways of saying it. Both are right. Small room oh. in a big building. Right. What do you call that room? That's easy. That's an apartment. An apartment? Right. Well, in South Africa, we call that a flat. A flat? Yep. So I'm a little confused, Teacher Quintus. Which one is right and which one is wrong? Well, they're both right. Yeah? But in Taiwan, we prefer the American spelling and okay. American vocabulary words because Rainbow Time. Right, most of the people who write for Rainbow Time and record for Rainbow Time are Americans, and so we try to stay true to that. Yeah, because I think it would be very confusing to have lots of different kinds of English in one book. So if you're a parent, maybe pick one style and stick to that one style. Yeah. We like to show people that there are other ways of saying words, mm -hmm. pronouncing words, spelling words, or even using different vocabulary words for the same thing. Thank you, Teacher Quintus. Thank you, Teacher John. That was very fun. It was. Bye-bye, <laughs> boys and girls. See you later.